Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'll be taking a look at Q4 OS version 2.7. This is based on Debian Stretch and uses the Trinity desktop environment. Trinity is a fork of KDE version 3. Although admittedly I find this a rather difficult desktop environment to use because I'm used to the newer version of KDE, the Plasma 5 desktop environment. But hey, some people like sticking with what they know and what they're used to, and I can certainly sympathise with that with my Unity lookalike desktop. Q4 OS is styled to look vaguely like Windows XP, and it even has some little features there to remind us of what Windows XP was like, with like my network places, my computer. Installing the application seems to come up with a very Windows lookalike dialog box. Let's say, for example, I want to install Chromium. So I'll go to the install application. Oh, wow, this really does remind me of Windows. <laughs> Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but hey, if they've got that look and feel right, then yeah. That's something to certainly commend them on. That's what they're aiming for. Their aim is to look like Windows XP. So install successfully completed and a little smiley face. Very nice, very nice. A welcome screen has been provided and it allows you to tweak a few little things. You can change the start menu style. I think the default was the Bourbon style. Let's take a look at that and remind ourselves of what it looks like. Yes, that would look perfect for Windows XP users, and it even comes with an extra feature of being able to search for applications, a feature that didn't exist at the time in that operating system. Although, bear in mind, we're going back to, what, 2001, 2002, so yeah, quite some time ago. So I can certainly appreciate these modern touches. I'm going to switch back to the kickoff style menu. It's something I'm perhaps slightly more used to, mm, although really my favourite is the dash style, but the dash menu didn't exist back in KDE version 3. Anyway, looking at what the system memory usage was, we have 248 meg used, so that is very low. Memory usage has crept up slightly, but hey, we do have Firefox open. The kernel that has been provided is version 4.9. The age of it is due to the Debian base, so it's based on Debian stretch. So you do have a nice stable base for the operating system. There are a couple of versions of Q4OS available. They do offer the Plasma desktop environment alongside Trinity. As I note here, the memory and processor requirements for Trinity are significantly lower than Plasma. So 128 meg of RAM versus one gig of RAM for a minimal requirement. At the time of initial setup, you do get the option of switching to the Plasma desktop environment. And they do note that I have more than enough resources available to run Plasma. But hey, I want to try out Trinity. You do have an easy option of installing more applications to the operating system. So I've opted for the full feature desktop with a web browser and office suite. So yes, it does come with LibreOffice. There it is at the top there. Should try and get used to using these icons on the desktop. I think it comes with the full suite of LibreOffice. Also had a web browser and VLC media player. But yeah, that is just the basics really. There's nothing too overboard here. You do get a Dolphin file manager pre-installed. And looking at about Dolphin, this is an older version of Dolphin. So Dolphin 0.9.2 using Trinity R14.0.5. Yeah, the newer versions of the KDE applications use the year in the version number. For example, if I was to open up KDN Live, go to about KDN Live, look at the version number, well, 16.12.2. That does show that Qt 5 applications work perfectly fine on the Qt 4 based desktop. And it's not just Qt applications that work fine, we also have the GTK based applications as well. Let's just open up Inkscape, although saying that I've already opened up Firefox, and we can see Firefox is open, as well as LibreOffice, yeah, so you can see that everything looks perfectly fine. The speed and responsiveness is really good. But yeah, looking at the low resource requirements and comparing it to my modern system, yeah, it's really like cracking a walnut with a sledgehammer. <laughs> Way over and above what is required. You can do quite a few customizations by the look of it. And you know, let's take a look at this, the look switcher. Is this going to remind me of some of the features that are in Plasma 5 desktop? Okay, let's try this theme out. So I have to log out and log back in. Now that is a different style. Okay then. I'll try this transparent layout called slide and then I'll carry on with the review. Oh, very nice. And with the panel at the left hand side, that does make it feel a little bit more like Unity. Excellent choice.
so that is quite a significant change that could be made to the styling of the Trinity desktop environment. Got a nice legacy feature here, screensavers. Polygons, oh yes, very reminiscent of Windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that really does remind me of it. And you also get some fancier screensavers. Yeah, I think it was this one I was looking at, Euphoria, one of the OpenGL screensavers. Oh, very nice, very nice. What became of screensavers? Why do we just go for the display turning off now? I guess it's more energy efficient to turn off the display. Yeah, perhaps I can't complain now. So quite a few customizations that can be made. Do you know what, I found Q4OS perfectly fine to use. It's so nice, fast and responsive. The welcome screen is a nice touch for new users. It helps people unfamiliar to Linux get started with the operating system. A few simple applications you can install. Perhaps a very short list there, but okay. If you want more applications, then you can just open Synaptic. So it's not like you're only limited to those few applications. So yes, I'm impressed with it, although I have to admit it's not really for me. I have no interest in going back to the older versions of KDE, a version which I never really used. I didn't start using KDE until version 4. Now I'm perfectly happy using Plasma 5. But it could certainly suit anyone who prefers the older styling. And it is also suitable for anyone who likes using the Windows XP styled desktop environment. But well, that was a look at Q4OS. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.